guys so um, no Joanna just John is in the studio today he's gonna be so kind he's not happy about this I will tell you that but since he's the only guy in the office besides my assistant Andrew who will be here in a second because he has a design to do too I have to use John so happy holidays again thanks for being so patient with me I'm sorry that these um, designs or that these YouTubes took so long to get up it's been a busy December all right thanks guys okay so let's get started I'm going to be doing a boy Christmas design because that's what everybody is hemming and hawing and hoo hooing about. So I'm going to do my own interpretation of um, Jack from the Night Before Christmas, his skull face with his Santa hat because he came out during the Night Before Christmas. So I'm going to start off by loading my big brush uh, with white paint because I like to apply it with my brush first for better accuracy. Then you can use your sponge to fill it all in. So I'm getting a nice generous coat of white on my brush just like this and then I'm going to paint the circle. Now the good thing is that John has this nice round face so I feel like that helps um, a lot when it comes down to uh, creating this kind of skull since it was a very round face. So turn a little bit this way. So we're going to start off by um, first I'm going to make the uh, band for his Christmas hat. So that's why I like using this big brush as well. I'm going to leave this part open because the little tail of the Christmas hat is going to fit in there. And then I'm going to just go around the face just like this to create the base. So I'm just using this uh, big brush to kind of uh, put on the base, the white base. And some of you guys are going to prefer, like I said, sponging this. And that is going to work for you. And I encourage you to choose the medium that makes you the most comfortable. Oh, look at when the student becomes the teacher. Okay, so now that we have the white base on, you do want to give it a couple of minutes to dry, especially since we're going to be putting red in there. And if you put red automatically on a wet white paint, it's going to turn pink. So just let it dry for a minute or two, um, maybe even quicker, especially if you're outside. So now in this area, I'm going to create the hat. So using a filbert brush, I am just covering this area and I'm using a fab red um, I really like this red because it's nice and it's bright and it stays bright for a while. Sometimes reds tend to get um, a little bit dull so I like the whole uh, red part, uh, the, the bright red for that matter. So then in this area where I left it open, that's where his hat is going to come down. So we're just going to kind of have it taper off down here and I'll fill that in. Okay, so now this hat is kind of coming down in this section. So again, I'm using my Filbert brush because for me, I'm able to get um, the lines that I want. If I was the Wolf Brothers, I wish, that's what I want for Christmas, Santa, is to paint like the Wolf Brothers, um, then I would be able to do it with a sponge, but since I'm not them. So you're going to make um, an elevated eye, almost like we do uh, when we start off for our, um, our butterflies. So start up, I'm gonna cut through the eyebrow kind of curve over just like that to kind of give it that evil look and I'm coming I'm going to fill in the lid and I am going to come down below the eye and because you're going black on top of white you might need to do two layers so I'm going to come down and I'm going to come around the eye as well so in the corner of the eye I come underneath it and I'm filling in this whole thing so I come in the corner of the eye, cut up, come around underneath the eye, fill it in. Now if you notice again, like I was telling you, it is turning a little bit of a gray. So in order to get it as its blackest, you'll want to put on two layers. And you'll want to make sure that it dries a little bit before you go ahead and do that. So then the next thing that I'm going to do is make the two little nostrils. So I'm going to do that here. So I lay my brush down. And the Filbert brush makes really nice nostrils. Like the shape is really nice more than anything else because you don't have to do too much actual drawing with it. So turn a little bit this way. Thank you. I lay it down again. Go from the top and the bottom up. So as you can see, those make some good nostrils. 
Now the final thing that we're going to do is create the mouth area. And remember, this mouth was pretty uh, stitched up, so to speak. So I'm going to start off by starting at the corner of the lip, heading up. So I start right here on his natural lip line. I head up, going thick and thin. And then at the top of it, I'm just going to extend a little bit. And now I'm just going to make my little stitches. So you're going to go up and down and up and down until you come across the face. And then over his bottom lip, I'm going to fill it in. just like that and I'll repeat what I did on this side on the other side as well so I'm just gonna come up and make it a little bit more stitched and I'm going to fill it in right here same thing you're still going to stitch it out even on the bottom and the top lips in here and how many stitches you want to add is up to you so remember what I did I came up at the end I came out and then I'm just going to stitch it up. And then I will let this particular part dry. And now I'm going to just trace a quick outline. And I'll have him turn a little bit more. This way. Just kind of making sure that you're creating that outer shape. Now on him, it's a little bit harder, guys. So excuse that rough part right in there. Um, when you're working on top of hair, it's not always the easiest to make the perfect crisp line. But he's been so gracious in modeling for me, not once, but twice today, that um, beggars can't be choosers. Okay, so now's the fun part. Now we're going to have a little bit more fun outlining um, and just adding a little bit more dimension inside of there. So let's start off first outlining um, his hat. So I'm just going to give it a little bit of a rough outline there. Just like that. And I'll do the same thing for the edge of this Christmas hat. Nothing a hundred percent perfect so I have it just coming down a little bit rough right inside of there and I'll make the outline for um, the end of the uh, the Christmas hat I'll just add a few little lines right inside of there nothing that's so hard that you can't do all right so those just little wear lines right inside of there now this next part obviously is optional but if you want to just give it a little bit more um, dimension to it then you're going to want to add a few little shadows here and there so um, the same way that we kind of washed out um, if you have a gray you can use gray because that works just as good um, but if you want to and you want to do a little bit more of the color washing where it's a little less um, intense in terms of the actual color, that's when you want to pick up the black on your brush, then pick up some white, and I just kind of wash it out in the lid of, my, um, of, my, of one of my paints just so that I get and I have a little bit of this kind of uh, washed out color versus that strong intense black because wolf black can be too too strong to add any type of shadowing with so I'll just go right on top of the eye right in here kind of blend out this hard line right inside of there and go right inside of the corner as well and just extend it down right inside of there and I'll make sure to go right along the edge and I'll do the same when it goes for the nose I'm just kind of blurring out those edges so they're not as um, intense and again the goal is to get it very milky on the ends so then I'm going to come along the nose and follow those lines those real lines so that it gives it a little bit more and I'll do the same on the other side 
And remember, if you need to thin out your uh, black a little bit don't, with water, don't be scared to. Um, that's the goal. You don't want it to look perfect. So I just kind of watered out those lines, and I'll do the same up here. Around the edges as well. Give him those. All right, so now that we have the eyes pretty much done, and I'll go along the nostrils of the nose inside of there as well. Now the, the same thing, I'm going to use this same technique to just kind of blend out those stitches along the mouth as well. And you want to make sure that your paint is not uh, too black. So in the corners, I'm just kind of fanning out the color to give it a little bit um, more depth. And you, again, because you're mixing white and black, you want to make sure that your brush is pretty dry, that you don't want it to be um, too, too wet because that will defeat the purpose. So I'm just kind of drag blending right along those stitches and I'll do the same thing here. And notice what I'm doing, going up and down. And you can go back in and define this if you want to. This part is definitely um, up to you more than anything else. And to get a good blend out of it, you, of course you're going to want to make sure that your brush is on the drier side versus on the wetter side. So I'm going to add just a few more little stitches. So again, just going with um, my brush, just kind of eliminating that really hard line, giving it a little bit of a blend right inside of the corners, and a little bit along there, and even a little bit along the hat. So then finally, I'm picking up a little bit more white, <coughs> And I'm going to just fill in right inside of his little Christmas ball on that side. Sorry about that, that you didn't see that. And then using my brush, just adding a few little uh, white highlights along his Christmas hat. And then open your eyes. You have a scary uh, the night before Christmas Jack the Skull face um, and, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Have fun with this design and happy holidays.